got it. I'm gonna do a quick impromptu black dread rant. There's a reason why I don't talk about season eight. Now, when I say season eight, I mean seasons five through eight because they're two different shows. Seasons one through four, season five to eight, two different shows. So I don't talk about it because I start going into rage and rants and I start becoming just babbling. I just, there's so many plot holes. There's so much wrong with season five, six, seven, eight that you can talk about that it's just like, I, I'm not even gonna bother. We all we know what it is. And this is a very quick video here. Google the Rotten Tomatoes. You'll see the drop from season one. You'll see the drop to season eight. Everyone agrees the last three episodes, the last four episodes were the worst episodes. So I don't really like to talk about it. But what I will say is Peter Dinklage, shut the mother fuck up. John Bradley, shut the mother fuck up up. I'm gonna tell you why. Now I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but like I said, when it starts getting down to season eight and things like that, I can't talk. I get irrational. So I say, you know what? I'm just going to end up skipping it because a few weeks ago, Peter Dinklage going to come out his mouth and say that, oh, the fan, you're going to blame the fans. And this is what I don't like here. This is what he tries to do. Blame the fans for being upset that his words, his words, the pretty white people didn't get to ride off the sunset. And that the fans are just, you know, racist. We wanted to, you know, see the white people. Because all of the black people on Game of Thrones had such a happy ending. Like Masande, who got her head chopped off in chains like a slave. And Grey Worm, whose character was assassinated. And then they sent him off to Nav to die from butterflies. And of course, my favorite one, Saladra San. I'm not going to rape her. I'm going to fuck her. And, you know, so these were the three black characters. And after, after like season three or four or something. We don't even see Salad or San anymore. And then Grey Worm and Masande just get, just discarded immediately. And what happened? The pretty white people rode off into the sunset. Oh, everyone had a happy ending except for Daenerys. And yeah, somebody had to be the villain. And Cersei got to, you know, die in her lover's arms or whatever. So like, you see, I can't, you see, I start babbling. So he's gonna say it's the fans fault. Now, why do I have a problem with this? When you try, he tries to say that the fans were just racist. Now, I was offended by that because when you start calling, when you get an L, when you take an L and you try to blame it on something else and put it on a group of marginalized, oppressed people or whatever, that's a problem. Because just recently, the G4 chick, Frost or whatever her name is, she's going to get called out for saying wrong things about video games. So she turns it, it's sexist. I'm just as bangable as the other wolves. You know? So she turns it to sexist. And that's fucked up because when sexism really does happen, you look like a crying wolf. So Peter Dinklage, when you call the fans of Game of Thrones who are upset about a show that George R.R. R. Martin himself, George R.R. R. Martin himself, the night the finale aired, was publicly on Twitter ignoring the finale of Game of Thrones, adapted from A Song of Ice and Fire that he wrote. The night the finale aired, he was publicly ignoring it, tweeting, went out of his way to tweet that he was watching something else. He didn't have to say anything, but he went online to tweet that he was watching something else tonight. And you're going to say that the fans need to get over it. It's just a show. I mean, you know, it's just a show about dragons. It's just a show about dragons. Excuse me, Peter Dinklage. Don't get it twisted. We love Tyrion. I want you to understand this. We love Tyrion Lannister, okay? We don't necessarily love Peter Dinklage, so don't act like you have our undying love and support because you're saying all of these things now because you have a new movie that you're out promoting. And I'm just like, okay, well, guess what? Since it's our fault, our fans, and we, we need to just get over it, we're just going to get over you. And we're not going to watch your stupid little movie that you're out there promoting, okay? Because he does this with Game of Thrones, and he says these egregious things, and he comes out a few weeks later promoting the same stupid movie that no one cares about. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, you know. Oh, I can't believe they're doing this story, you know. With the dwarves, haven't we come far enough? Haven't I done enough for dwarves? Like, he's the king of the dwarves. I said, excuse me, Peter. You don't get to speak for all of them because now they, a lot of the people in the Dwarvism community are very upset. They're like, excuse me, we had an opportunity to play seven of the most famous dwarves in history, literature, fictional history or whatever. Some of the most famous dwarves, Grumpy Sleepy Doc. You know these guys. 
These are some of the, these are some, if you're a dwarf, that's the role you want to get. That's your, you're gone with the wing, your color purple. That's your main role. You want, um, if I can play roles made for dwarves, it's Lord of the Rings or it's, it's, it's Snow White. You know what I'm saying? And we don't need to, they live in a cave. No, Peter, they work in a cave. They live in a cottage. Okay. You don't even know the story. And what are you mad that they didn't cast you? They didn't ask you to be grumpy because you are lately. You've been very grumpy. You would know a lot of people don't know you from anything else other than playing Tyrion and you're out promoting this new movie. And it's like, Hey, no one wants to see that. Okay. Because people didn't jump up and down to go see the Eternals. And guess what? Rob Stark and Jon Snow was in that. And I didn't go see the Eternals. So it's like, don't get it twisted. Those are actors. Just like Spongebob said, actors. So those are actors. You are an actor. You are not Tyrion Lannister. We are attached to Tyrion Lannister, the imp, not you. Okay. And then now the, the, the people in the dwarves and dwarvism community are coming out and saying, excuse me, you just made it. So now it's Snow White and seven magical creatures, seven magical creatures. So now they're going to probably CGI them or just hire since they're magical creatures, just going to hire tall people and you just fuck this out of the seven most popular dwarves in literature thanks peter okay so i'm like why don't you just shut up and accept you know the, the ending wasn't that bad yes it was because we got you i'm not that's what i said i'm gonna just do this real fast i'm gonna talk for like a few more minutes which is real fast we got you on video and i might put the link or something to the video we got you on video saying you know ah Tyrion is not that smart Rah! you know you talking shit about the show we got everybody talking shit about the show including you john bradley who came out today talking about how the ending was not that bad and we should um you know give dnd a break oh is that because they just cast you in their new show on netflix that they're going to ruin the three body problem whatever from what i understand it's this really big popular story and that dnd are going to ruin it and John Bradley, you're going to go down on that ship with him. You can go on down with the ship with him, okay? Because we don't care either. You know, we know he destroyed Samuel Tarly was not Samuel Tarly from the book. And it was not even the Samuel Tarly from season one, two, and three. Samuel Tarly in season five and six and seven was just standing around being dumb and hanging out with Gilly and doing nothing. You know, having hardly moving a plot, just being a device to say here, here, say things to John. That's it. That's all you were doing. And you know it. But now, because you want to be like Peter Dinklage and you're promoting a little stupid new film or project or whatever that you're in with D&D, all of a sudden now it's not that bad. When we have a whole book, we have a whole book of people saying how bad that was. Look how thick that is. We got a whole book of people saying how bad it was working on there. So I just wish they would stop with the blaming of the fans and don't try to call the fans racist and stuff like that because i'm like that's offensive because when racism really does happen like it did when john boyega came out with that john boyega the brother came out with the lightsaber and he was all kinds of monkeys and niggas and all this kind of stuff so it's like when it really does happen and we say it and then you keep oh it's racism every time anyone takes an l oh it's racism it's this it's that it's racism okay and then when it really does happen it looks like we're crying wolf now because well you say that for everything you know so i'm just like you guys need to just learn how to just be quiet, be graceful, like Amel Amelia Clark. She's like, oh, well, you know, when people say how much they hate it, what happened to Daenerys? Oh, well, I'm just so flattered that they love the character that much. And, you know, that they thought that much to be angry. And I'm so, so appreciative of it. And I love it. Oh, wow. Peter, oh, why don't y'all just get over it? And John Bradley, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. Yes, it was that bad. So, all right. I can't rant too much longer because then I'm going to start really getting upset. But I just, I needed to get that off my chest. I feel so much better now. I needed to get that off my chest. And this was all building up before the Snow White incident. And then the Snow White incident happened. And then this was just building up, building up, building up. And then John Bradley came out today and said, oh, D&D &D is not that bad with the ending. And it just was like, okay, you guys now are trying to rewrite history and we're not going to let it happen. Okay. The Dragon Demands called him a sellout. And I was like, that's right. And he added him too. He added him. Okay. He said what I said. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Whoo. Got that one out. I am the Black Dread and leave you with the words of House Targaryen, Fire and Blood and John Bradley and Peter Dinklage. Shut the motherfucker up.